So next up for us is a four mile maiden. And number one is Dystonius Babylon for Daniel French. Friendly Vantage for Darren Thompson. Matador for Martin Leadham. Summer in the City for Matt Cooper. What Fettle for John Morgan. Bill Shit Chatter for Vinnie Ger Gerard with Senchi Unique. Also for Vinnie Gerard. Chemin Dufay for Pedro Hogan. David Robertson's Diner Wager. John Morgan's Lark River. Optimistic Beach for Stu Gray. Tiama Vonis for Hollywood. Derek Hinton. And Windmill Rise for Stu Gray makes up 13. To go over the four miles here. A few first time outers. We'll wait for the John Morgan horse to delete. And there he goes. And it's Watt Fettle out of his two. The other one's Lark River. They get to the first ditch and they'll go over it. A real big slow jump of the, out wide, I think, by Optimistic Beach in the black colours. But it's Watt Fettle that's going to lead this over the second. Take that one clearly. Wager at the rear just pecked a little bit on landing. So it's Watt Vettel from Stablemate Lark River. Just on his inside is Summer in the City. As we head towards the Rao, there's Tiana Vonis, a friendly vantage. And just behind there is Matador and Chemin de Fay. Slow jump over the third from their leader. And also this time Dystonius Babylon pecked on landed just at the rear there as they get to the fourth. Stakes in there. I think the worst was Chemin de Fate. Lucky to hang on to his jockey there. So get to the next. We will clear that as well. So it's Watt Fettel still, followed by his stable mate Lark River. And a couple of lengths away from the rest of the chasing pack, which is Friendly Vantage, just leading them with Matador on his outside. A couple up against the row is Jensenchi Unique and Tiana Vonas. A bit wider is Chemin de Fay. And we've got Bill Ship Chatter. And his inside is in the summer in the city. As they go over the six, the leaders clear it all. Mistake at the back this time by Dystonius Babylon again. Cleanly. Dystonius of Babylon just to the rear. It's a couple of lengths off the chasing pack. Being hurried along a little bit to get a bit close up. We'll clear the next. We'll stick over it to the rear with Optimistic Beach. So roughly through. Just over a mile now. Past the winning post for the first time, I think twice more. And it's Watt Fettle and Lark River that still lead us from Tiana Vonis and Matador. A great and friendly vantage. Wider of those is Chemin de Fay. And the first of the Vinnie Gerard horses. Senchi Unique. Somewhere in the city. All should chatter on his outside. Just on his inside is Windmill Rise. Up against the fences. Dino Wager, and just Optimistic Beach and the Dystonius of Babylon, a little bit disconnected at the moment. Get to a ditch. We'll clear that. I think Dystonius got over it as well. Come to the next. A few mistakes towards the rear, mainly from Windmill Rise. Some are in the city, Optimistic Beach. They all stumbled a little bit over that. They've still got another 15 fences to take. Let's see if they stay on their feet. But it's Watt Fettel from Lark River. And five back to Tiana Vonis. Friendly Vantage, Matador, Chemin de Fay, and Senchi Unique all together. Uh, length. Back to Dinah Wager. And we've got Bullshit, bull, <laughs> bullshit Jatter. Windmill Rise. Summer in the City. Optimistic Beach. Just lost sight now of Dystonia's Babylon. But they've been well strung out now. Let's get to the 14th. We'll clear that. So they've done quite well. At least a fair few first time outers here. They've managed to stay on their feet. But 
can still this Watt Vettel in there since the beginning. He's done the first two miles on his own from his stable mate Lark River. And then a gap of five to Chemin de Fay and Tiana Vonis, friendly vantage since unique Matador and Dino Wagers latched onto that group now. We'll get over the next. Another one we're starting to lose sight of now is Optimistic Beach. Trading pack we can see uh, I think with Mill Rice. As I go over the 16th, bit of a mistake there by Lark River in second. Got away with it. So what Vettel brings them round along towards the grandstand. From Lark River in second, Shemin de Faye's third. Tiana Von is friendly vantage. The length of Senchi unique as they get to the 17th. Sticky again, our lead up. His stable mate is getting him within a length and a half now. And still that five back to Shemin de Fate. Gianna Von is a friendly vantage, been to go throughout. The length of Senchi unique. Matador's just dropped back a little bit to join Dina Wager and Summer in the city trying to improve. And we've got Windmill Rise. Bill Shit Chatter. Oh, mistake this time by Lark River up front. Oh, and we've lost one. Bill Shit Chatter's gone at the 18th. And he's left, uh, I think that's Windmill Rise on his own. And the rear, but it's Watt Vettel still leads by three to Lark River. And a further three back to Shamin de Fay, Tiana von, von Ass and Friendly Vantage to go over this big ditch. And oh, and we've lost another. This time it's Windmill Rise that's taken a tumble. A couple of first timers have fallen. The two John Morgan ones are still proving to be difficult to take over. And here's Watt Vettel, leads them out again. Just under a mile left to travel from Lark River in second. Friendly Vantage being given a couple of reminders now down as they approach into the back straight, trying to get on closer terms. Shemin de Fay's coming with them as they go over the 21st as the pace starts to lift. It's Watt Vettel from Lark River. Shemin de Fay and Friendly Vantage and about three back to Century Unique making up ground now with Tiana Vonis on the row as they go over the 22nd and it's a bit of a change up front as Shemin de Fay noses in front of Watt Vettel. Watt Vettel hasn't asked for anything yet but close to the row and a length or so back to Friendly Vantage. Lark River's asking for a bit as they go over the 23rd. A poor jump by our leader there. Watt Vettel got over it better so it's Shemin de Fay, Watt Fettel, Tiana Vonis and Senchi Unique followed through by Friendly Vantage, Lark River, the two running on wider uh, Matador and Dino Wager, the rest you can ride off but it's this Shemin de Fay that's got a length advantage from Tiana Vonis, Wheat F Watt Fettel, or Wheat Fettel should I say Friendly Voyage but coming down to the next, two from home and it's Watt Fettel that takes it back up again as they get to this, oh there's a rider still down there, he's dead, Watt Fettel from Senchi Unique these two are starting to pull away. Friendly uh, Shemin de Fay starts to go backwards. Friendly Vantage trying to close the gap. Matador still plugging along. We've still got two furlongs to go. And it's still Watt Fettel over Senchi Unique. Let's go over the penultimate. Better jump there by Senchi Unique. And this first time out, two first time out, and Friendly Vantage up on the wide outside. So Watt Fettel still leads from Friendly Vantage now. Senchi Unique has shot his bolt running on his Lark River. Wider still is Dino Wager, but Watt Fettel gets back up again. And it's Friendly Vantage and Watt Fettel. We're inside the final furlong. It's going to be between these two. They're over the last. A much better jump by Friendly Vantage. Watt Fettel's got a little bit more left and it's Watt Fettel. Watt Fettel from Friendly Vantage. Century Unique in third. Lark River is fourth. Fifth is Dina Wager. Shemin de Fay, Matador, Tiana Vonis. Summer in the city. And maybe we'll see Optimistic Beach. We didn't. But he did finish. He just pulled away well there. So the Jadami Maiden Chase goes to Watt Fettel, our pillar to post lead up. Only got headed a couple of times in that last couple of furlongs, but takes it for John Morgan. Friendly vantage for Darren Thompson. Has to settle for second. Century unique for Vinnie Girard. Great first time run there in third. Lark River for John Morgan came in fourth. They look ominous for the long distance races. And a diner wager for David Robertson was fifth.